Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. I'm going to do a boxing today and it is of a 200 watt solar panel and it's by Bouge RV. Okay, let's get this thing open. That was easy. Didn't need the crazy girl knife. All right. Everything seems to be packed up really good. They have this nice sheet of cardboard over the glass part of the solar panel. This is a rigid solar panel, not a flexi, which I like much better than the flexis. They, everyone I've had in the past have actually ended up failing on me, the semi-flexi to flexi ones. I just don't think that they are built very well and they have overheating issues. With this one, it is a hard panel, which I love, and I'm going to attach this one to my rig. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it and um, put it away every time until I get it installed as an awning, which I'll probably do later and have a separate video for that. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. They have these nice corner guards on here. It helps protect it during shipping. And it comes with the MC4 connectors. I am going to put an adapter on this that will connect directly into a charge controller I already installed. Um, but those are Anderson connectors. And like I said, I do have the adapter so I can plug it straight in. Then I'm going to get it all set up and see what the output is because it's Victron is a charge controller and it'll show me the output and how it's doing. Now this solar panel, like most solar panels, are waterproof with the waterproof connectors. So I will show that later in the video. Oh, huh. User manual. Wow, that is one big panel, but that's what I wanted to cover this window here. The dimensions fit this window perfectly. So we're going to go over the user manual. All right, model. This is the 200 watt solar panel. It's 12 volt and it is a mono instead of poly. But this is supposed to be the newer technology and it supposedly should work better in... Um, shaded and also cloudy situations normally that's uh, the case poly does better with shaded and also cloudy situations but it does take up more space and they usually use them residentially like on houses and stuff they're much larger but the voltage is usually higher and they like i said take up more space where with the mono they're very efficient size wise but not so much in shady and cloudy situations but i believe the newer panels the way they've designed them they're meant to work a little better than the older um, monos they do have three types of panels the 100 watt the 180 and then the 200 watt which is behind me now let's go over the specs of the 200 since that's what i've got it is a 23.4 volt i think is the open circuit the max power is 19.8 because it is a 12 volt solar panel. Okay, and the max power is 10.10 .10 amps, which is about right because on 100 watt, I believe it's 5.62. So let's see, short circuit current is 11.7 amps. The solar cell's efficiency is 22.50, which is the upgrade that they've done to this because most panels especially older panels, are about 19%, where this one is 22.5%, which is much better. Now, operating temperatures is negative 4 Fahrenheit, uh, 167 Fahrenheit. Wow. Well, so the cables, like I said before, are the MC4 connectors, but it's three foot and they are the 12 AWGs. The max system voltage for this is 1000 volts DC and the series fuse rating is about 15 amps for this one. On the 180, it's 15 amps as well. And on the 100, it's uh, 10 amps. So this is a class A. 
the product certification. Okay, all this stuff, I'm really not that important. So, the, the main important things is that it's a 200 watt, and it's a uh, 19.8 volts, like I said. And the max amp output for this is t about 10 amps. On this right here, they show you how to hook it up in series and also parallel. Series is where you hook the negative to the positive to increase your voltage. And with the parallel, you hook positive to positive, negative to negative, and that increases your amperage, not your voltage. So this is an extra solar panel that I need for surplus power on those cloudy days or on the winter days where the sun isn't high in the horizon. And I'm not quite getting enough solar from my rooftop solar panels because they do not fold up. So I can't catch the angle of the sun correctly in the winter. I might change that later on, but it is nice to have an extra solar panel. And like I said, I do have a charge controller specifically for this panel. It's not going to be hooked up to my other panels. It will be separate. This panel is a 9BB mono solar panel. That was a very easy unboxing. All that is left is to get the other cables connected to it and hook it into my charge controller. And get rid of these boxes. So as far as testing, it is the wrong time of the day. The sun is about to go down. So I will probably just get the cables on it and then test it out tomorrow. Plus I have to put my awning up, which I'll do here in a moment. But I just love to play in your fun and your games. Always hungry for more, that's just how I was born. Take me somewhere I don't know and give me your freedom. I've unpacked the cable. This is the connector with the MC4 on this side and the Anderson on this side. That'll just hook to the MC4 cables here. And then it'll be easy peasy because I can just connect it directly into this charge controller right here. A little dusty. It's the Victron. And as you can see, I already have the Anderson connectors connected right into the controller. This is very simple, and like I said, these are waterproof connectors. And you can't plug them in wrong, because obviously they won't fit. That one's a little more complicated to get in. Okay, see, I jinxed myself. This one I had to uh, do three different times because I guess it's new and it's it was hard to get in there. This one fit in easy peasy, but this one was very challenging. So, well, at least it's hooked up and we're ready to plug it in, which we're going to go ahead and do now. I had to correct these here because they were turned a different way than these ones were. They just slide apart and then there's a track here on all sides so you can connect them together. Okay, I think that's about it. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. I don't know, <laughs> like, the red, red. Yes, I know, so. Okay, so now all that's left to do is just plug them in and then we can check the voltage and how it's doing. Like I said, it's probably not going to be the best time since the sun's going down, but I still want to see what it's doing now, and then I'll also check it tomorrow when the sun is out fully. That's if the weather is working with me and it's not cloudy. So the blue light is on here, and that lets us know that it is charging. Jeff changed the angle of the panel just so we can get the most light. All right, so right now it's saying 19 watts. I doubt you can see this. And the voltage is at 19, well actually it's fluctuating between 20 volts and 19 point, oh yeah, it's really fluctuating, 
Okay, and it is only bringing in one amp, which in this condition, it's um, basically no more sun almost, and that's good. So we'll check the amperage output tomorrow. So since I have a uh, Victron, it will take extra voltage and um, apply it as amps. So right now it says the panel is bringing in one amp, but it's um, converting the extra voltage and it's actually bringing in 1.7 amps, which is pretty good. Mum was just chillaxing and watching the process. Yes, yes you are. Now that we let it sit for a minute, it's at 21 volts. And my battery voltage is at 13.15. And it's now bringing in one point, fluctuating between half and six. Like I said, tomorrow we can definitely get a better read on the solar panel. And then I'll also do the waterproof test, which most panels are, but I will take some water and pour it over. Cause see, look, we have plenty of water behind us. We're still here at Senator's Wash. It's beautiful. It was a beautiful day today. So yeah, we'll get back to this tomorrow where I'll do a better test of the voltage and the amperage and do a little water test on it. This is the window that I want to install the solar panel for an awning, but for now it'll just have to be right here until I am ready to install it. All right, we will see you tomorrow, solar panel. Good morning. It is a beautiful day here at Senator's Watch. We're going to go ahead and get back to that solar panel, but just want to show you the view. Amazing. So fortunately the sun is out and bright and feeling lovely today. The solar panel is in position. Let's go ahead and check some of the specs on it. Before we check that solar panel, I want to do a comparison. I have two 260s at 24 volts up on the roof. I just want to see what those are bringing in. Okay, now remember it is 520 watts on the roof, but they are not angled towards the sun and the sun is lower in the horizon because it is still winter. But right now they're bringing in 219 watts and the panels are about 27 volts at eight amps. Now I have an MPPT charge controller which converts the extra voltage. So it's dropped the voltage down to 13.45 for the batteries and it's bringing in about 16 amps which is pretty good. In the summertime, usually these will bring almost 30 amps in. Okay, now we wanna check the other solar panel and see how it's doing. It's bringing in 168 watts. And remember, this is a 200 watt panel. And the voltage on the panel is 17.9. Oh, there it's 18, it's fluctuating, obviously. And the current is nine point, let's just say nine and a half, it's fluctuating amps that the panel is producing. But obviously I have it hooked to the MPPT um, charge controller, so it is converting it. It dropped down the voltage to 13.4 and it's bringing in, wow, 12, oh, it's fluctuating. Let's see, yeah, 12.3 amps to 11 amps. Just keeps on fluctuating there. But that's really good. So that means if I'm bringing in about 12 amps on this and 16 amps on the other, I'm, it's, I'm almost at 30 amps for the system. The company wanted me to do a waterproof test on this as well. Mostly all panels are waterproof. I don't know why they wanted me to do this, but got my trusty bucket I'm gonna fill up because obviously I don't have a hose because I'm camping just gonna grab some water here just a little bit okay what is it Mimo? huh <laughs> she said I'll get a little sip of water today come on let's go Okay, so I completely soaked the panel. I also did the connectors as well and the back of the panel. 
So I got everything wet, just to make sure. Now I'm gonna grab my phone and check to make sure everything's working properly. We are in the desert, so it is probably good to rinse off all the dust anyways. <laughs> Let's see what it's doing. So it's at 176 watts. I think that was more than before. 18 and a half volts and nine and a half amps. That's on the what the panel is producing. And what's coming into the batteries is stepped down to 13.4 volts and about, it's not fluctuating anymore, about 12.8 amps. Nice. So as you can see, the waterproof test did work, but like I said, I believe every solar panel is waterproof. But it was nice to wash the dust off. You chillaxing and sunbathing, Moo Moo? Yeah, you look comfy. <laughs> I really do like this panel. Although there is one thing, but that's just a uh, personal opinion, is I wish it came with a black frame like most of my other panels. Cause that way it would blend in better. But I actually can just take some paint and touch that up and make it black. Or get some um, tape and tape it off. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with that. I might just leave it like it is. But I'm excited to get this up here so I don't have to mess with it. The only problems I'm going to have is I'm going to have to get an extension for the this. So... It doesn't hit the solar panel or just keep the door shut. I like to have the door open though. So yes, this is where I want to install it. So I am really excited about this item and it seems like it's gonna do well. An extra amperage coming in is always a good thing. Like I said, we're in the winter season right now and it doesn't look like it because we're here in Southern Arizona where the sun is bright and it's gonna be 80 something degrees today. And it has a lovely cool breeze but the sun is not high in the horizon so you know my top panels aren't doing as good as they usually would so it's nice to have this supplement power to add into my battery banks because i do have seven lithium batteries that's a lot of batteries 700 amp hours so it takes a while to charge that so i think that's gonna work out for me awesome okay i'm not sure if you can see this because it's kind of bright out here now so i wanted to see how much it's produced already so it says that it's produced 480 watt hours and at 176 watts and 20.8 volts so that's pretty good yesterday it only produced 50 watt hours and obviously because we plugged it in like right as the sun was going down. So I'm surprised it even got that much, but it's doing really well. We'll check later and see how it's doing. So it is the next day, it's beautiful. I waited one whole day just to see what it produced for that day. Okay, I was checking my rooftop panels first. They're bringing in 209 watts at 20, it's fluctuating, 27, 25 volts. And let's see the history. So yesterday, they produced, the two panels produced 1.43 kilowatt hours. That's pretty good. So at 31 volts. So let's check what this one did. It's bringing in 160 watts at 17 volts and then Right now it's saying my batteries are at 13.42. The current bring, being brought in now is about almost 12 amps. Let's check the history of this one. Okay, so today it's only brought in 340 watt hours, but it brought in yesterday a total of 1.09 kilowatt. Wow, almost as good as the uh, two panels together, but like I said, they're not facing towards the sun. So this did amazing. So it was 1.09, stop that, at 22, well, about 21 volts and 176 watts. Wow, pretty good. So this is gonna work out really well for me. So as I stated earlier, there are three different types of panels that this company carries, the 100, the 180, and the 200, which is the one I have. If you're interested in purchasing one of these panels, I will provide a link in the description below the video, so check that out. Also, for all my viewers, they are offering a promo code, so use the promo code and you can get a discount.